Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update N8N to the latest version, whether you're running it on your local machine or a VPS. All using Docker, and the best part, you'll keep all your data intact, and do it with just one simple command. Let's dive in. Let's start by confirming what version of N8N we're currently running. We'll open up our N8N instance that's already running on the VPS. At the bottom of the interface, you might see a message telling you a new version is available. This is our queue to update. All right, now that we've confirmed there's a new version, let's jump into our VPS to start the update process. We log into the VPS using SSH, just like we did when we first set things up. Now let's make sure we're in the right folder, the one that holds our docker compose.yml file. We run ls to list the contents of the current directory, and yep, Here's our compose file. This file defines how N8N is currently running, including volumes, ports, and data paths. Before we update anything, let's take a quick look at what this file is doing and why it's important. This file is set to pull and launch the latest available version of N8N when it was first created. It also defines a volume, which is where all your workflows and credentials are stored. That's what ensures your data isn't lost. So if we rerun this file with a new image, NAN will be updated, but the data stays exactly where it is. All right, before we update, make sure your terminal is in the correct folder. The compose.yml file needs to be in the current working directory. In our case, that's the root folder of the VPS, where we originally set up NAN. Once that's confirmed, now let's actually download the latest version of NAN so we can launch it with this setup. This command reaches out to Docker Hub and downloads the newest version of the NAN image. But don't worry, it doesn't restart anything yet. Next, we'll shut down the current container and restart it with the updated version. This command stops and removes the old container that was running the previous version of NAN. So right now, if you try to access NAN, it won't load because we just removed the running instance. But no worries. Next, we'll run this command to create a new container using the latest NAN image we just pulled. It's like swapping out the engine, but keeping the exact same hard drive. Your data stays right where it is, and NAN boots up fresh with the latest features. Back in your browser, just refresh the page, and boom! N8N is now running the latest version, and all your workflows, credentials, and settings are exactly as you left them. Safe, simple, and updated. And here is a quick pro tip. In the future, once you've said pulled the latest NAN image, you can combine all steps into a single command like this. Super clean, and it brings your setup back online using the latest version with all your data preserved. All right, we've just updated NAN on our VPS setup. Now let's move on to updating NAN locally using Docker Desktop. We'll begin by launching the NAN container from Docker Desktop. Once it's running, open your browser and access NAN locally. Just like before, we can scroll down and see the current version. And there's that little notification letting us know a new update is available. Now go back to Docker Desktop and open the NAN container details. Since we didn't use a compose.yml file for the local setup, everything was configured directly inside Docker. To make sure we preserve all our settings when updating, go to the Inspect tab. Here you can view all the environment variables that were used in the original setup. Next, we open the Docker Desktop Terminal. Just like we did on the VPS, we need to stop and remove the existing container before starting the updated one. This time, the command will be a bit different, since we are not using Docker Compose, and there is no YML file to define our setup. Instead, We'll recreate the container using a full docker run command. You can copy the command from the video description. Make sure to give the container a name and use the same folder on your machine that holds the old N8N. Map it to this folder inside the docker container and reuse the same environment variables from before. Once everything is filled in, run the command. This pulls the latest N8N image and starts a brand new container using your existing data. Now head back to your browser and refresh the page. 
And just like that, all our previous data, workflows, and credentials are still intact. And N8N is now running locally with the latest version, ready to go. If this video helped you, give it a like. Subscribe for more tutorials on AI agents, automation, and self-hosted tools. And drop a comment if you have questions or want help with your setup. And don't forget, all the resources, scripts, and help are waiting for you in the Zero Two Launch community on School. Join for free and start building with us. Until next time, build smart, automate better, and I'll see you in the next one.